the footer. All right, so let's just chuck some content down in the main content area so we can build our footer and have it be at the bottom of the page and not have to worry about that. Uh, a common thing to use for just website filler, just like it is in print, is lorem ipsum. So here I am at just uh, lipsum.com, which if you Google lorem ipsum is always the first hit. Uh, it's okay. It just generates a bunch of this gobbledygook kind of Latin, whatever it is, filler text. So you can just copy and paste off of this website, or there's a number of other, of other generators. Anyway, whatever is your like and, and paste it into your website. I already have some paragraph tags around here. It doesn't hardly matter. It's not going to look pretty, but there's some content. We'll deal with that in podcast three, but let's build the footer for now. So we can start with the uh, HTML for the footer, which is going to be within, this is the, uh, we can actually declare it right here, but this is the end of the page wrap, just so we know what's going on here. And then let's code the footer. Just We'll just put it in another div. That seems to be a fine way to do that. And then let's refer back to our mock-up to see what we actually put in that footer. Oh, just some copyright information, and it looks like a repeat of the menu. That's pretty common. So we'll just write that stuff in there. Go back to our HTML file. Maybe put it in a paragraph tag. The uh, symbol for copyright is and copy colon. So and copy colon 2008. CSSTricks.com. Uh, we'll just leave it at that for now. What the heck? So that's the markup for the footer. But, you know, we could reload now, but it's not going to, it's really not going to look like anything if I go back to the website because we haven't styled anything so you'll just there it is down there totally unstyled but that's the beauty and power of CSS let's style it up so it looks like something we know that we have a div with the style footer so with the ID of footer rather we can I can find my mouse here. Give it a background color. Uh, I think 56, 560,000 is the hex code for the dark red we used in the header. With a dark red like that, let's make the text on it white. Uh, let's give it some padding on top so that it, that text doesn't just touch the top of our red bar so maybe just like 10 picks both top and bottom this is CSS shorthand for you can think of it like a clock this is 12 o'clock 3 o'clock 6 o'clock 9 o'clock top right bottom left so that's 10 pixels top and bottom and in our mock-up we made all the, it was all capital letters so we can achieve that with CSS with the text transform and let's see in the mock-up again just a little touch here we had a little red border on the top of it that's something easy to do in CSS as well we don't have to use an image although we could but it's a little lighter weight to not use an image at all say border top two pixels in thickness, solid, red. Good enough. I'll save it and let's see if that did it. Well, there we go. That's a that's a footer. Uh, we might want to center this text in it. That's no big deal. Text, align, center. That should bring it over to the middle. Looks pretty good. There's a footer. So on podcast three, we'll deal with styling up this main content area, and then we'll have a pretty nice looking website. Until next time.